well, 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 we've made it one year, one long year, and it's a, it's really something to behold a sight, behold, you know, um, this is my baby, this is a bucket list type dream for me, um, and I've got to say, you already know who I am, welcome back to the Objective Slant, my name is Michael Air Lloyd, and we're doing this for what, the 14th? I don't know how many times it's been, but you already know what time it is. It's the one year anniversary you show. You already know. Um, uh, we'll introduce my guest here in just a minute. Uh, you know, he's, he's here, he's ready um, to be interviewed. Um, uh, we also have some questions from um, various different viewers and or non-viewers. It really depends, but depends on my phone's connection. Um, as of right now, okay, we're on 3G right now, and I need to. While he's doing that, I'll introduce myself. Y you my you can't introduce yourself. <laughs> Brian, and I'm from Hutto, Texas. Shout out to the hippos, and also hippos. shout out Santi. I love you. And Michael has brought me here today on surprise interview, which I don't really know, but you got it loaded up. Y Hang on, hang on. Just, just give me a. Well, you know what? We're just not gonna do it because there were some dumb questions. Um, but anyway, let me, let me, let me go ahead and talk about those questions. I don't remember. It's been a, it's been okay. a minute. Um, before. It's been a minute. It's been a while. You know, we've had a long conversation about um, some weird stuff in the past month. Um, like well, yeah, um, and, um, the months before then. Well, not really weird, but uh. you know. Um, <laughs> Let me tell you guys, it's been a, I, 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 just, I just don't even know at this point. I'm, 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 I'm shocked, I'm, I'm, I'm overcome with joy. I, I have no words to describe how I'm feeling right now. Um, this show has just been so much to me. It's, again, it's my baby. It's, it's, if I This really it, is his baby. I've like, cradled it with. I'm not gonna lie, this man, has just put together something so beautiful. And I've watched from the sideline, and of course, I'm like, Michael, Aaron, and Lloyd out here doing big things. And <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah. I really am. Thank you, thank you. Um, been doing this for, and originally it was, um, let, me, let me go ahead and get to the background a little quick um, before I ask Brian, here's some quality questions. Um, I haven't really had time to plan, you know, um, as a um, as a student, as a creative writing student, of course, um, it is very it is very busy, um, very busy time. Fall semester started, and then you know, er, you know everything has just kind of amped up. The tension has gotten higher, but we we're here. We're here now. I'm ready um, to just be the guy you want me to be. If, that's what it is, you know. I don't, I don't know what y'all want, you know. I, I can't. I'm not. The, not, I don't have the crystal ball in front of me. Um, just saying, like, oh well, here's what we're gonna talk about. You know, it's it's all spontaneous. It's all never planned. And when it is planned, you know, I I began to do um, my research and did what I needed to do to get that going. But originally, the show was supposed to start in July, I want to say, it was July 2018, it did not start then. It, when did it uh, start? Uh, it started in September um, of that same year, so, and it was, it was a harrowing experience, first time coming up in here, um, very nervous, didn't know what to say, the, the first show was only about 17 and a half minutes long, so that's usually not, that's, it's kind of, it's kind of short for me. Uh, well, then again, it's not kind of short for me. There have been shows that have been only like 18, 19 minutes, but mm -hmm. um, it was a very nervous time. But uh, as time evolved, things got a lot better, and then I became more comfortable. Um, the first question that I got, that I got from you, um, mm -hmm. um, was how, what was the hardest part? And I'd say the hardest part of doing this show is just, um, Man, it, it's it's really hard. <laughs> it's hard to come up with an answer because I mean, you, I'm doing my research now, so that's not really that hard anymore. Um, as far as getting topics ready, um, 
and more confident on on the cameras and stuff like that so it's been fun doing that and you know as far as getting people here it's been it's been a harrowing experience at times um, sometimes people have decided to come on sometimes they have not um, you know it is what it is you know we've only had about a handful of guests about maybe like 10 to 12 of them you're, you're one of them Brian um, and you these guests have done the honor and the privilege to make the show easier for me and just make it great, better overall. Um, um, we, uh, my mind is still wrapped up in the interview from March. Um, mm. it's, been a, it's been a long time since I brought that up, but um, that interview garnered a lot of publicity for me. Um, it turned into a Reddit Q&A. Uh, that I won't go into more detail about because it was, <laughs> it was a long Q and A of conservatives um, mm. going going in drilling deep um, as far as I was trying to get my guest um, who who was never actually named on the show we don't, I don't know his name um, but he was on that Stephen Crowder video from way back when um, when he came to UNT so uh, that probably is the highlight, the biggest highlight of this show so far. Um, there have been plenty of other interviews. Um, um, obviously, the most fun interview was the one I did with my boys, Cam Kendall and my gal mm -hmm. pal Taylor from, you know, it was great. It was, Shout it was out to Gamma and Lambda Delta, okay? <laughs> that's, that's the family that kind of brought us all together. Me, him, Cam, Kendall, like his yeah. previous guest, um, you know, I came to UNT with you know really like maybe one friend really from high school and then um, I had uh, Jordan or the president of uh, Gamma Lambda Delta kind of corral me in and then uh, I, how did did he reach out to you or how did you find out about uh, I found out through the um, the social thing that they were doing <laughs> oh well who, who hit you up about that I just walked up to the table. Was it like a flyer? Oh, you walked right in, right? I just walked up to their table because they had the table set up out oh, there in that the, one day. in the union, right? No, it was like by Willis. It was, oh. It was something. Okay. And they were raising money for their social. And I was like, oh. hmm, this is interesting. Yeah. So I, I went ahead. No, it's, and it's definitely an amazing family that's been created. Everyone's really kind and generous. And I'm really glad I got to meet everyone I did, especially you, Michael. Like, um, learning, like, people's like deep past and their journey about everything they've kind of like just went through to get to where they are today it's really humbling in a sense because you kind of get a perspective from other people that you you kind of just get tunnel vision from your own and then you know you start connecting with so many people and then you kind of you kind of sit back and realize everyone has their own struggle you know so i kind of i respect everyone each an individual for that yeah. and it's it's great it's made me gain so much more insight into the just the smaller nuances of life that like we kind of overlook so michael i genuinely mean this like it was amazing to meet you and i'm glad that we're friends bro yeah, like it's, it's this really, is this, this like is, this is an exciting time um never would i <laughs> never would i think that I'd join a frat never would i think that i have right. a television <laughs> show um uh, i I mean, I let me give you some more background. Um, I don't care because um, it was it was a long time ago, three years ago, <coughs> almost now. Um, transferring here from Colin College after some tumultuous events. I'm talking um, false accusations against me that were proven false, and they were false. And who's accusing you? Um, don't want to get into more details about that. It was yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we don't talk about that. Some bullshit, person. right? <laughs> it, it, it was um, some. Okay. As long as you got it handled, yeah, stick up for yourself, bro. Yeah, Easily. it was. Always. It was. It was. It, it was an interesting experience. I'll tell you that. Um, really helped me uh, cement my relationships better. You know, um, that whole experience. That's really the, what all that was about. Was trying to you know, so trying to get my relationships in order. You know, um, personal relationships anyway. Um, but I, I lost my train of thought for a second there, but that's okay. Um, I've been we, on we've, the train. We, we've, we've talked a lot. Um, 
politics and social issues and economic issues and just things in general that challenge people's perspectives and challenge um, mm -hmm. what people think. And that was the, uh, that, that's that been the goal of the show. Um, that's always been the goal. And I know somebody's probably like, oh, well, I, don't, well, I don't like this or something like that. I don't, I don't like this man speaking at me right now or something like that, but who knows, who cares? Um, I don't, <laughs> you know. Can we talk a little bit about the global crisis of the world? Like, just the state of Earth, really? Um, is, yeah, why I not? Mean, just a tiny uh, bit, right? Why yeah. not? Um, that wasn't what I was gonna <laughs> ask, but why not? Okay. Um, so I, don't wanna, I don't mean to interrupt you, though. No, you're, if you you're, have a main topic to go on, like, I'm just like... Yeah, we, <laughs> we're, we're just kinda talking. We're just, kinda talking we're just free balling right now. We're just free balling. <laughs> um, that's, that, that's, how, that's how the show <coughs> is. Um, we free ball pretty much everything um, from, from free speech to gun control to mm -hmm. uh, the ice cream challenge to what is that? <laughs> did you not hear about the ice, ice cream, cream cha challenge uh no no I was it, was, loop on that it was uh, oh yeah you weren't even on social media for a while it was like people just oh no um, people were not oh no yeah people, people, were, not people were grabbing um people no. were grabbing bluebells and all sorts of different ice what creams from the um from the um, what you call it the machine, from, the, from, right? the, from the freezer with Wait. from the freezer okay. and, and the grocery aisle okay. and they and they licked the damn ice cream and then they put the ice cream. Oh back. my god! What? Well, yeah, it was it's so sick. Yeah, it was it what? was something um, or Why? it was um, That's another one was Listerine. Um, like, what are people doing on the internet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> being <Clout? laughs> being people, yes, it was, for, it was definitely for clout. Um, Jeez. And then there was this other one. Oh yeah, it was like potatoes, and this person urinated on potatoes. Uh, I guess she was drunk. She got she turned herself in the next day. I think I can't remember. It was a story from a long time ago, and it just kind of happened. <laughs> I think my favorite thing I've ever seen on the internet is whenever people go into fast food restaurants and like hop over the counter and just like grab a chicken tender <laughs> and just hop back out because like. They really can't stop you, you know? They're not allowed to intervene, so like, huh. are you down to hit up Popeyes on Tuesday? Um, yeah, two speaking, piece, speak, piece, speaking uh, of Popeyes. Oh, speaking of. Uh, um, the popular thing right now is the Popeyes chicken sandwich, but apparently they're all out of chicken sandwiches. Um, apparently. Yeah, that's gonna be in quotation marks, they're out of chicken sandwiches, and the lines yeah, that were can't long. Be, yeah, it can't um, be a worldwide outage, like, um, it's not. Yeah, yeah, the lines were long to get the sandwich. I was like, at first I was like, mm, let, me, let me see if I don't go try this. And it was like, oh, it's too lazy um, one day. And I was just like, no, I don't feel like doing it. Um, and the last time I ate Popeyes, it kind of it did not sit well with me. So I was like, Ugh. so I was like, I don't want it. So uh, I don't know. Um, but I've heard a lot of controversy about the sandwich, how Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, yeah. the yeah. sandwich is mid, like it's just a regular sandwich, it's over hyped, and then, I mean, honestly, I still haven't even tried it, but like, it's it's just overrated, because like, apparently they've been having this chicken sandwich, and now people are just like, oh, chicken sandwich from Popeyes, but um, I don't, I would say that, I don't know, like Chick-fil-A or Popeyes, you know, yeah. it's two different categories, you know. I, I guess. What do you so. say? I mean, for the chicken sandwich. Did you yeah. try the sandwich? Uh, no. Okay. I, I, I couldn't. They ran out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a piece of fried chicken, really, on uh, brioche buns and some nice little sauce and pickles. Like. Yeah. But I will say that, I mean, Chick-fil-A's chicken has always been, like, actual meat, I guess. Oh, I mean, Popeye's is actually meat, but, I mean, uh, did you hear about, like, how Chick-fil-A is, like, uh, owners or just main uh, owners are like against the LGBTQ? Uh, yes, yes I have. Um, now, of course, um, you know, public perception of brands um, is always changing, you know. One day, you know, you could be just, I don't know, let's just use McDonald's as an example. One day you could be like going inside of McDonald's and get a large fry, you get two large fries. That's what I do. I get two large fries from McDonald's. Um, 
go in there, you get your large fries, you eat large fries, and you, and you blow up and gain 200 pounds in <laughs> an instant, and now you want to blame That's McDonald's um, <laughs> for your problems. Um, no, you did it. You did it, fam. But that's uh, really guns don't the, the guns don't kill people bro that's the the age old realization like people kill people and then you're thinking about like oh mcdonald's are killing people well no you're the one going to mcdonald's to get the food to ultimately kill yourself so yeah i don't even want to get into like obesity worldwide because it's like it's like obviously you want everyone to be healthy and like yeah. live their life to the fullest potential but then again some people are happy living that lifestyle but it's just hard to see your loved ones do that because you know that you get one body literally you know yeah. so like so what are you gonna do you're just gonna keep treating it like shit like you know like it's it's whatever you, it's what you put into your body that kind of makes it you know like i don't know but i think the thing is like the people who are are stuck in a trap of being like severely obese is that there's not there, there aren't people around them to kind of like give them a little push like hey eat um you know eat cleaner or eat just eat a little less a day you know because if you're isolated and you just kind of eat like that you just fall into the cycle you know yeah so um i'm thinking like if you just some people take offense to it though you know like i mean you have to be good friends with someone like if you're just acquaintances with someone and you just start talking about how they eat they're just going to be aff uh, defensive about it yeah. so like that is that is all i'm true. saying is earth stop being so sensitive that's all i'm saying <laughs> really that's all i'm saying um yeah back to what i was saying real quick um, um public perception of brands really does not influence me to where i can just say oh well okay just because let, let me just word it like this okay okay chick-fil-a um, it's not sport you know lgbtq plus a, I don't want to offend nobody, but that's yeah, okay. It's a long acronym. Yeah, I don't it's, know. A, it's, a, it's a long acronym. Um, I, I know lots of friends that are um, LGBT plus. We'll just go with that. Q. Q plus. <laughs> yes. Don't um, forget we'll just, Q, we'll, 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 we'll just go What with, is the plus? I don't, I don't um, hear about that. What's <laughs> just, plus uh, X minus Y? Nah, no, it's, it's a lot of things. Don't take uh, offense to that. It's a lot of... Um, different things as far as um, no. sexuality and continue. stuff goes like but yeah public perception of brands really does not influence me at all so let's say um, at mcdonald's and a walmart they're both i don't know liberal or republican I, liberal or conservative i mean yeah. <laughs> um let, let's just say they're either they're either or um so <coughs> uh, it doesn't matter to me um that they're what they what their political beliefs are really does not influence me to whether I want to shop there or not. Um, ultimately, it always comes down to price for me. So, <laughs> um, so you won't see me at a Walmart shopping for clothes. You will see you will see me at a thrift store shopping for clothes because I'm hundred percent every day. <laughs> thrift. Cool. I am cheap like that. Um, I intended to get a new um, dress shirt outfit like this. Um, but I didn't have the time for it at a class yesterday. And I had and I met some friends afterwards. Um, you know, it was great, um, like it always was. Um, that's a every Thursday thing. UNT Nerd Fighters. That's a club. I'm shouting them what out. What is it? UNT Nerd Fighters. Nerd Fighters. What is that? It's just a club for a bunch of nerds. A bunch of nerds. <laughs> nerds in what? Like every. Like, just like every. Day. Just like everything. You know, like nerdy and stuff like oh, that you okay. know, like, yeah, I'm down like, to join <laughs> yeah, you know, just, how nerdy does it get you know um, it, 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 get per, it gets pretty wild uh, okay. I'll tell you that right now like, I could bring a biscuit you know a biscuit I was like wait what a biscuit but um man um it'll be just um let me just um turn it over to you real yeah, quick you up? know um Interview question or what? Yeah. What yeah. What is your like aspirations? We want to. People want to know. Um, okay. You know what my aspirations what, in what, life. What or what, my career? Should, yeah. Everything, right? Yeah, career. Um, basically, what do you? I'm what? a rapper, but I think overall, I think in my creative uh, outlet, my biggest inspiration is probably Donald Glover. This that man is a fucking visionary. He's 
everything he's able to accomplish for himself, he's he's just I'm trying to be like that. I'm trying to emulate everything like him and then better. Like he's he's done it all. Like, are you a fan of even his music? Oh. Uh, Childish Gambino. No? Uh, what? Michael, I, 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 I'm just not. I'm, gonna, caught, I'm just nah. not that caught up in this music scene. I'm sorry. <laughs> but either way, um, he's definitely a big role model of mine because you know his rap flow is crazy, his lyricism, his imagery. You know, then he like takes it over to like television and broadcasting, and then his acting, and then you know, I mean, you don't see much uh, ph- 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 philanthropical. I don't even. I don't even know how to. Turn philanthropist into a word philanthropist. Hmm? You just said it. I don't know, but (laughs) they know. (sighs) It's just, but either way, like he's still just like such a creative visionary, and that's what I fuck with. But um, in terms of kind of life goals, um, the things that inspire me really are just to just help my family. Really, like you know, like whenever they, me being like a first like generation American, really like. They like literally hopped on a boat to come over here, and you know they literally started from nothing, and like I'm here at like my senior year in college. Like they've done so much for me, so I just want to you know become, just get millions one day, pay the pay off their stuff, help my bros, you know, and then also help the earth because I I just genuinely enjoy kind of like, you know, just helping in whatever way I can, you know, so. My inspiration is giving back to the world um, because we kind of come into this world and we're we're given all these things. So whenever you reach a certain point, I mean, it only just feels right to give back, you know. Mm-hmm. But that is just my mindset about things, and you know, what do you think your inspiration is? Uh, it's pretty interesting, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> oh man, inspirations. And speaking of inspirations, let me go on back here uh, let me redirect y'all's attention to, <laughs> to myself real quick um you know we've been, we've been um been inspired by just a lot of things you know um j- just my dissatisfaction uh, with the media in general it's been a it's been a long long spiral you know of just like oh well this is fake news, your fake news, <coughs> their fake news, blah, 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 and all that good stuff like that. It's just, and I just wanted to, you know, get get my thoughts and things out there. That's all, that was, again, that's the goal of the show, you know, get my thoughts on these controversial, um, insane, rapid fire, um, hard boiled topics, and, you know, getting new people onto the show is the hardest part. At times, mm-hmm. uh, that's really that's really the hardest part because um, it's happened a couple times to where um, a guest just doesn't just didn't want to come. So yeah. and it's unfortunate, but it happens. Um, that, that's why the show I was got about to be late. Like <laughs> if my girlfriend didn't text me, I probably would have slept through. <laughs> so um, thank you. Yeah, we we pushed through. Um, so that's why the show started in September 2018. Instead of July or August or one of the months, I don't remember which month, but um, it, it was it was a thrilling experience to deal with um, somebody for the first time, and it was actually the first time um, that I tried to get the topic of socialism socialism up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, it, it was the first time I tried to get the topic of social, socialism up, and I keep messing up again. That's okay. Uh, but then, you know, March came around that interview that I keep referencing, that I've been referencing for quite a while now. Um, March episode. Yeah. Go and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I've got. Nothing else for Brian. Can you briefly (laughs) tell me about socialism? Like, I know of socialism, but I I just never really, it never, I never just remembered it. Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot or anything. Just like it's it's really hard for for me to get a full. I know Bernie Sanders was a socialist, wasn't he? He he still is. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but he's a democratic socialist oh. in, in that regard. So I mean, that's why I can't I, really. <laughs> that's why I yeah. can't really give you a definition because it's hard already to define socialism. And we can't. I really represent the population of ignorance to like politics because, for one, I really, I really don't care and. Ultimately, it kind of does affect how I live my life, but really, it's like it's not that big of an influence, um, at least for me and trying to achieve my goals and things I'm doing. But I mean, it's just a lot to try to, you know, listen to, and like I really don't care. Like, you think I care about what our president has to say? Like, no. I mean, I definitely know that he's pretty shitty. So obviously, vote for someone else because, you know, I'm not even gonna get into that. But yeah, yeah but. Um it's been so quiet, so that's why I haven't really had um, too many questions for Brian here. Um, it's been a quiet front around here, um, you know. Um, as I said, in August, sometime, sometime in August, I don't remember which one, um, I believe it was the second episode in August, but, um, you know, it was, you know, schools ramping up, you know, kids and stuff, or kids and college students. Who are still kids, basically. Um, we're all kids until we're like, I don't know, like in our thirties. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we we're, never we're, really grow up. We're, we're getting back into the swing of things, and then you know, um, for me, college football started back up, and then NFL starts back up this week. Um, yeah, they just played last night. Yeah, you know that? I, I know. <laughs> I know. Slowest game I've ever watched in my life. Um, and, and that started back up, and then obviously this show, you know, takes takes some time, not a lot of time, but it takes um, some time out of one day, a month, um, at, at most. Do you or edit your own thing? Um, or do you have an no, editor for that? Uh, no, those guys back there uh, are editing yeah. and stuff, so. Shout out Joey and Adam. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> Adam's sleeping, so I mean, yeah. he's, he's back there right now. He's, Shout he's out to Adam for his new job, uh, <laughs> and then, oh yeah. <laughs> um, so there'll be a new guy back there taking over for, um, so he'll be with me for the rest of the ride here until um, graduation, the graduation episode, which is in May sometime. I don't know when, but that's sometime in May. Um, we only have a few minutes left here. Um, I'm Can just I gonna, ask you a question? Yeah. What is the most um, inspirational thing that you would tell someone who is really struggling right now? Um, the most inspirational thing that I think uh, right now is that uh, you, you, you can get over the hump. There is always a way to get over the hump. Um, you're, you're not alone in this fight. Um, there's plenty of people and resources out there to help you. Um, Ooh, it's, it's honestly, you know, you, you, there's plenty of there's plenty of help here, and if you feel like you know you you don't you don't feel like you belong or something like that, you know, you you just go on ahead, and you find somebody close to you, and you just t talk it out or something like that. Or yeah, go the to hardest therapy. part is when people don't have, like, they don't reach out because they just feel like they can't trust anyone. Yeah. So. Or, or get some therapy or something, <coughs> you know, just anything, anything that can help you um, in, in a way as to where you can just Kinda get grow, your self, self esteem from back grow up. Go from diversity, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Or adversity, my bad. Yeah. Um, I think the, the, I wouldn't say the hidden truths of it, but just kind of like the things that, you know, people don't really ever hear or see from is that like, you know, people going through, this, going through this struggle by themselves and, you know, with no one to kind of reach out to, they kind of just feel so isolated. And yeah. so, you know, I think the most, the, the best thing I could ever say is that one, you gotta love, just love yourself because yeah. um, that, will, that will take you so far if you love yourself. And if you feel like you can't love yourself, you have to, you kind of just look at look at everything about yourself that you know that you that you like and you know maybe you don't like anything about yourself but still have some type of ambition or hope to to do something about it you know what i mean like you know people there are people who have their own little pity party about you know like if you if they can't um 
you know, do a certain task that they would want to do or something. Well, you know, there's, you're right, you know, there's so many resources out there to kind of, to help you kind of achieve what you want to do. And, you know, that's, that's like the hardest part is kind of taking the first step. But out of all the things, the quotes and inspirational things I've ever seen is that it doesn't matter how big your first step is as long as you take the first step. Because if you don't, if, if you don't put in any effort, then you'll get nowhere, you know? But the smallest effort every day builds up and you just, you overcome, overcome that hump. Thank you, thank you, Brian. Uh, I'm gonna stop Brian right there. Um, we're, we're, we've ran pretty much out of time at this point, um, but it, it's been fun um, coming to you again for however many times it is. Um, 14th time? Yeah, that, that, anniversary. Many, that many times, um, so. Um, Won't the wanna, anniversary be 12? Or no? No. No, not necessarily. Yeah, um, but I wanna, Thank everybody for watching. Uh, usually, um, once these go up on the YouTube page, on Denton Community Television YouTube page, we have to have to stress to people: this is not um, NTTV. This is not the um, the film majors. This is the journalism guys, um, journalism guys and gals um, um, doing their thing for NT Daily. And um, and the other thing is, is that you can watch the show. Um, you know, just like at any time, but more specifically, you can watch it um, 2 p.m. Um, on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Um, I've seen an occasional like shift to where there was like a Sunday that I was there, that I was had my show airing at the mm -hmm. same time. That's okay. Um, and you know, you you will see you will see this episode go up somewhere, everywhere. You know, YouTube first. And then, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, um, whatever television station we are actually on, do, you know, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, you know, that's all the other social medias I have. That's all I've got. Um, and with all that being said, everybody, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, we may have gone a little bit over time. I want to thank Brian for coming. Hey, bro, thank, thanks for having me. Thanks yeah. for having me. <laughs> it was, it was yeah. Thank you. It was this, was, this was really great. Yeah, this yeah. is great to see and um, yeah just um, take care everybody um, have a good rest of your September peace everybody have a great Friday